Anne Lamott is a successful author of books, namely of nonfiction, Christian, inspirational, and related influences. Her 1995 best-selling Bird by Bird was heralded by the Los Angeles Times, the New York Times, and other national press platforms, as well as inspiring the documentary by the same title of the author. The book's title derives from an experience the author had with her younger brother when he was a young adolescent. He had a class report on birds and procrastinated his efforts on the report till the day before the report was due. Lamont's father advised her brother to take the report, literally bird by bird, to ease his sense of overwhelming. This anecdote sets the tone for the rest of Lamont's book, appropriately lending its title. While bird by bird echoes, reflects, and even cites other how-to instructional guides to writing, it is not necessarily of this ilk. Lamont does indeed instruct writers on the fundamentals to good, effective writing, though her overlying purpose seems to encourage, enthuse, and calm overwhelmed writers who are facing the writing and publishing processes with indecision or inexperience. It's like a pep talk for mom, or perhaps psychoanalysis to a tortured soul. Bird rhymes with word. Take it word by word, the author might state. Bird by Bird is an effective tool for serious or professional writers who wish to milk the best from their talents, but perhaps not as effective for the average college student come casual writer who needs to complete a research project on, well, uh, let's say birds. That said, I wouldn't not recommend it to that crowd. It is harm to no one. The book, like many books before it, follows the creative writing process from idea generation to publication. The book's structure breaks down into five essential parts. Writing, the writing frame of mind, help along the way, publication, and other reasons to write. And lastly, a single chapter about taking what you've learned from writing and from this book and applying it to other areas of life. Chapters cover such topics as using descriptive language, plot detailing, dealing with writer's block, forming dialogue, and many other details or conflicts faced in long-form writing. The book shows its age somewhat in third part, Help Along the Way, where it devotes an entire chapter on seeking information to what would now probably be summed up in two words as Google it. But the old ways of seeking help still work. Lamont was fortunate enough to grow up alongside dedicated writers, her father being the most addressed. She is certainly a strong writer, and her choices of words and sentence structure show this. She knows her strength in these regards. And she bears no restraint in flexing her metaphorical muscle in every chapter. Metaphors can be an effective tool to the confused, the feeble-minded, the inexperienced. Repetition creates results. But these tools can also be distracting to readers who are looking for the meat of the text. One might conclude perhaps 30% of the narrative is useful information, as 70% is metaphorical reverberation of said information. In this respect, I compare Bird by Bird by um, William Zinser's On Writing Well, except for with, with colorful word pictures rather than long-winded, why, when I was a young filler, re recollections. A good example of Lamott's abilities with word selection and comparison is her description of grapes as mammarian. Just let that sink in. Writing, she reminds us, is an art. And like all forms of art, it is about seeing things differently and communicating that difference. I've been Johnny. You're always welcome in my neck of the woods. Well, I hope you liked that video. Feel free to leave a comment below telling us what you think or would like to see in any future videos. And be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons and stay tuned for more great content from Mortar and Ivy, preserving the culture and class of our glorious past.